Hey guys, today I'm gonna take the time to talk to you about the new Nicolas Cage movie, Pig. This movie also stars Alex Wolf and it hits theaters on July 16th. And I am so excited to give you my spoiler free review. But before we dive into this, if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you take one second and hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy the content, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. All right, let's talk about Pig. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Okay, so from the trailer, I expected an action-packed, crazy Nicolas Cage type movie where he is hunting down his stolen pig. I expected a little bit of John Wick and a whole lot of real tons fun action, maybe a little bit of humor thrown in here and there, and just Nicolas Cage doing what Nicolas Cage does best. And what I got was... Well, almost that. I mean, I got Nicolas Cage doing what Nicolas Cage does best. This character of his is very intriguing. Uh, from the very beginning, honestly, you know, I was really interested in him. And, and are we going to find out his backstory? How did he get to be this truffle hunter? Like, why does he love his pig so much? Like, what is going on here? And I just, I was really super captivated by the whole story. Like I said, pretty much right from the beginning. Uh, the action picks up the second his pig is stolen, which of course is not a spoiler if you have seen the trailer and it does happen fairly early on. He works with this guy that he sells truffles to. Uh, he doesn't know who else to call, so of course he calls that guy and they end up working together pretty closely throughout the movie and that guy is played by Alex Wolf, and the two of them together were just absolutely fantastic on the screen. So much fun. Their banter back and forth on uh, Nicolas Cage being very weird, leery to, to open up in front of him and to, and to tell him who he is. And eventually this guy figures out who he is. And this is when the story went like, what for me? Not in a bad way, but in a, I was not expecting this. This story is getting deep. There's like a lot of heart here. And there's a lot of interesting things that I didn't, didn't expect at all to happen happening and that just made me get more excited and more into the movie to the point where I was like as soon as this movie ends I'm gonna start it over and I'm gonna see if I can pick up little hints at the beginning um which I did and I could uh but just it, it, it took a turn where I didn't expect it to and again that is not a bad thing I think it actually really saves this movie and makes it that much better. I love Nicolas Cage in, in action scenes and he there's plenty of those, trust me. He's amazing in this. I just think he's one of the best actors out there. I completely adore him. So I was really excited to see that. But Alex Wolf really steals the show too whenever whenever he's on screen for real. And and then just the story, I'm so afraid to give any spoilers because like I said, it takes this twist that you do not expect it to go down. And and when it goes down that path, I mean, there were moments that I, I cried towards the end of this movie. Like, I'm not going to lie. I shed actual tears and I was crying um, because this movie is just so much heart. And, and I became so invested in this story and so invested in Rob finding his pig. Like, that's all he wanted in his life was to find his his stolen pig, you know, and it, it wasn't about the truffles, right? Of course, it's not about the truffles. It's about his relationship that he has with this pig. And and it's just, it, it took me completely by surprise. And I think that twist, like I said, it really, I don't want to say saved the movie because I was already enjoying it, but it brought it to a whole new level. And I think if it had just been a very like flat action movie. Yeah, he's looking for his pig, but like, you know, he's just destroying everyone in his path type of thing without this backstory. It would have been a very meh, very mediocre movie for me. But the way this story evolved and changed raised it to the next level for me. And I give Pig a four out of five. It was so good and it really completely surprised me. I thoroughly enjoyed myself watching it. I've watched it twice now and honestly, I would probably watch it again. It's one of those movies that's very rewatchable re for me. I think it just took me by complete surprise and I really had an absolute blast. And you can't go wrong with Nicolas Cage and then Alex Wolf. It really did steal steal the show when he was on screen too. And, and just him and Nicolas Cage, their banter. I loved their relationship in this. I had a lot of fun with it. If you guys have already seen Pig by the time you get to this review, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If not, let me know, are you going to see this movie in theaters? Again, Pig hits theaters on July 16th. And seriously, this movie is so fun. Like, I really want to go see it on the big screen. And I think I will. It's 
that that good. It was that entertaining, that captivating, and that that man. I'm just I'm so afraid I'm gonna give spoilers, so I'm gonna stop talking. But for real. Let me know what you thought. If you've seen it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. You can follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at Mama's Geeky over there. M-A-M-A-S-G-E-E-K-Y. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to all of my monetary supporters, my members here on YouTube, as well as my patrons. If you haven't joined yet, please consider doing so. We have some really awesome perks, including a monthly Zoom meeting where we get to talk face to face. Thank you again to everyone who supports me.